Hey guys, okay, it's empties time. I feel like my empties been filled up really, really fast this time. I don't know, I could be wrong. I somehow, I feel like I film these videos every month, but really it's like every six months. I just, I don't know, time gets away from me, but I do feel like I was running out of products really quickly this past couple of weeks. So I thought I would talk about them. In an empties videos, you guys know the drill. Empty products are products that I've used up completely. These videos are great because they really give a true review of the product. When you use it all up, you, you know whether or not you like it or not. Probably you do like it, <laughs> or else you wouldn't have finished it up all the way, right? So yeah, let's, let's hop in. Okay, I think, shockingly, I only have one dry shampoo, you guys. I think I've been using less. Like usually I would just douse my hair in dry shampoo. I've actually consciously been trying to use less because I feel like my scalp has just been really, really clogged with product lately. And I'm having a hard time getting all the product out without using like a super clarifying shampoo. So that said, that's probably why I only have the one. I have a shampoo and conditioner in here. This is by Living Proof. It's their full shampoo and conditioner. I think I like their Restore line better. It's a little bit more moisturizing, a little bit more, it just makes my hair feel a little bit better. This one wasn't bad, but if I had to pick one or the other, I would pick the Restore line over this one. I have lots of Bath & Body Works in here, so this is going to be a combination of shower gels and body lotions, mostly in the Strawberry Pound Cake scent or the Vanilla Bean Noel scent. So Strawberry Pound Cake lotion and shower gel. Here's another shower gel. <laughs> this one is Vanilla Bean Noel shower gel. Vanilla Bean Noel lotion, strawberry pound cake lotion. You can tell, oh, here's another dry shampoo. Okay, so I lied. I had two bottles in here, a jumbo and a mini. Um, I think that's it for Bath and Body Works. And then I also have one of the body scrubs. I have a bunch of these. I stocked up two Christmases ago, so 20 19 when Vanilla Bean Noel had their Fun Fetty Body Scrub. It's really, really good. It smells like cake batter. I mean, that's what Vanilla Bean Noel smells like, but this one just feels like cake batter because it has that grit to it. And I don't know if you like rubbing cake batter all over your body, then that would be your thing. <laughs> oh, I lied. Okay, they were hiding from me another dry shampoo so I have three of them I do promise though you guys I have been making a conscious attempt to like not use as much but I mean three bottles is pretty typical for me and I also have one more Penelope Noel shower gel hiding in there okay so <laughs> I also have uh, the R & Co Oblivion clarifying shampoo this is one of my favorite clarifying shampoos it really gets the gunk out of your hair without making your hair feel really dry and really stripped. That's my problem with a lot of these clarifying shampoos is they leave your hair feeling like straw. And then you have to go in with like a deep conditioner afterwards to like counteract it. So this is a good one. It's just kind of hard to find. It's always sold out online and it's just kind of hard to find. I have a couple of little bags of makeup wipes in here. I think these are the only two. I go through these really, really slow because I typically use a makeup eraser or a washcloth um, to wash my face. These I'll only use like when I'm traveling. Yeah, this is a, a 15 pack. So when I'm traveling or just, I just don't use them very often. But the Kirkland ones are the ones I do typically use. They're from Costco. And then this is like a little mini pack that somebody gave me. I have two cleansing oils to share with you guys. The first one is Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. This is one of my favorites. It's a more gentle formula. It has very little scent, if any, to it, so it doesn't burn your eyes or anything like that. I don't think it's strong enough to get like eyelash glue or waterproof mascara off, but it's definitely good for just your everyday, you know, makeup, sunscreen, stuff like that. This one I wasn't a fan of. It's the Amore Pacific. This has a super strong scent to it, you guys, like floral. It was it was bad. Yeah, it was difficult to use and difficult to finish up because I felt like it would just burn my eyes every single time I used it because it's so, so fragrant. So, I mean, I did end up using it. There's a little bit left in the bottle on the bottom, but 
it was hard and I kind of, I mean, I would not bar, I think I got this in PR. I would not purchase this again and I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. I have one face wash in here. It's by Kate Somerville. It's her gentle daily wash. If you watched my skincare routine video, I was almost done with it in that video, but I did, I did eventually finish it up. So this is one of my favorite face washes. I think the packaging is really cool. You turn the bottom and then it comes out that little hole in the bottom there. So it's convenient, but you know, honestly, I think I have other face washes that I like better now. <sighs> it's so sad to say because I've used this for years, but I really like the fresh one, um, the fresh soy face wash, and then I also really like the Dermalogica face washes. So I can't say that I'll purchase, purchase this one again anytime soon, but like maybe if it was the only brand available at a store that I went to that I, I would, you know, but there's just others that I like more. I have two sunscreens in here, you guys. I feel like I've been going through sunscreen like crazy, but it's because I wear it every single day. Sometimes I put it on like twice a day, like I reapply it throughout the day. So it's just something that I go through really quickly. Um, the first one is the Dermalogica Dynamic Skin Recovery. This is a really, really good sunscreen. It's SPF 50. It's one of the most, um, highest SPF. I don't know the right word for it. I was going to say potent, but that's not the right word. It's one of the highest SPF sunscreens that I own, like for my face specifically. So it smells really good too. It has like a nice cosmetic scent to it. It doesn't smell like sunscreen. And then one of my other favorites is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I've used this so much that like it's rubbed off. Like you can't even tell what it says, like that it's a Super Goop product. But um, this one's really nice. It doubles as a primer, so you can use it under your makeup and it's gonna work like a primer. It has SPF 40. It's rubbed off the front, but it's on the back. SPF 40, so it's almost the same as Dermalogica, but this definitely has a sunscreen like scent to it. It's, it's definitely not my favorite, but I can't get any out because it's all gone, but it has like a cool texture to it too. I like it. I can't believe how many of these I have in here. Wow, I blew through this. Uh, I have three little containers, two full size, one travel of the Fresh Ro Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. I'm just gonna double check and make sure these are truly gone. Yeah, that one is gone. I guess I just really like that face cream, you guys. I used it day and night, so that makes sense that I went through it really fast. Yep, that one's gone. And then this one I know I traveled with. I brought it to Arizona with me when I went back in January. So yeah, this is one of my favorite face creams. It's a deep hydrating face cream, but it has a gel consistency to it. So it's not gonna be heavy or feel like, you know, a lot of stuff piling on your face. And it's really good under makeup too. And it smells like rose. Along with that, I also have the Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. Hands down my favorite serum ever, 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 ever. I feel like I can't live without this serum in my skincare routine. I use it day and night. It works so well if you have dry skin or combo skin, even normal skin. I don't think it would work well on oily skin, but if you have anything other than oily skin, this is gonna be your best friend. It just, it just gives your skin like a drink of water. It makes your skin look so good and so hydrated. I love this stuff so much. Okay, I have a couple more things in here. I have a Clarisonic head. <laughs> I, so Clarisonic is out of business. You guys probably already know that, but when they announced they were going out of business, I went and bought like a lot of replacement heads because I love my Clarisonic. I use it every day. I don't know. I mean, if you guys have one, you probably know, like it's a magic. I can't believe they went out of business. So I definitely have more of these, but once I run out of them, like it's gone, it's gone forever. I thought for sure another company was going to buy them out and like bring it back, but they haven't yet. And it's been... It's been a few months. Okay, I have two more like skincare, hair care, and then I have two mascaras to tell you guys about. So the first one is the Sunday Riley Yuzu Vitamin C Sleep Mask. This wasn't my favorite sleeping mask. I don't know that I love sleeping masks. I feel like it's just an extra step in my skincare routine that I feel isn't always necessary. I have a Dermalogica, like the sleep cocoon, and that's currently what I'm trying to get through, but I just, I feel like it's not a necessary skincare product in my opinion. So this one has vitamin C in it and my skin is really sensitive to vitamin C. If I use too much of it or I use it too frequently, then I get like breakouts or my skin will get really irritated. So I had to use this one sparingly and eventually I did go through it, but I don't think I would repurchase that. And then this is actually a conditioner. It's the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging 
foam conditioner. I got this in a beauty box. I think it was a Look Fantastic box. And I was really intrigued by it. My mom loves this caviar brand, so I was really curious to try it out and see what the hype was all about. And I think it was just the product itself, not the brand, but a foam conditioner. It was just really bizarre. You squirt it in your hand and it's like a shave cream, kind of, but you put it in your hair. Like, I don't know. I would just rather use a regular conditioner, so I would not purchase this. Okay, the two mascaras to tell you guys about, I had the Hourglass Unlocked, which if you've pretty much seen any of my other beauty videos, you no, I love this mascara so much you guys it is my favorite mascara ever it's just so good it's a tubing mascara I used this particular tube for like eight months way longer than I should hey guys so very sadly my camera stopped recording at this point and I lost the last couple of minutes of what I thought I was recording but it's okay it was just a couple of products left so you're not missing too much here but I wanted to like explain what happened instead of just ending at a really weird spot so that is what happened that is the end of this video if you enjoyed this video I will link my empties playlist down below I have a ton of videos like this that you can binge watch and have some fun watching other than that I will talk to you next time bye